Do I look like I've been thinking? You never get to really be there when you're living your life. It's later in memory mm -hmm. that you really get in tight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hindsight's twenty twenty. Hey, Grandpa, what's that picture here? It's all black and white and it ain't real clear. Is that you there? Yeah. Yeah. I was 11. <laughs> Get in the limo, you guys. We got to take a ride. And if it's your first time, it's an evolution ride, so <gasps> don't miss it. We're going back to the 50s. That's uh, Get In The Limo. Jimmy Joe's your driver, the famous psychotherapist. And uh, the name of the show tonight, hopefully, is um, The Game in Ukraine. We're going to play the game, our famous game. What's it called again? Mm. What's your problem? What's your problem? Or what's the... I can't figure out whether it should be what's your problem or what's the problem. What's the problem? What's the problem? Yeah, What's the problem? Yeah. Let's it's one it. of those. Yeah. So we're going to play that uh, using, Ukraine using Ukraine as the problem. It's always, it doesn't matter whether it's personal or geopolitical. It's a conflict. It's resolution of conflict and it's evolution and then we'll do it. All right. So don't go away just because we're going back to the 50s for, with the John. The John. Say something, Ma. <laughs> We're going to sing. Uh, we could I be in trouble because someone. somebody changed my strings. <laughs> Come on, we got to. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Nervous. <laughs> nervous. Well, we can always call a show new strings. Okay, uh, here's an old Johnny Cash tune about a favorite of his daughter, who's a big shot down in New York, isn't she, Ma? Mm hmm. And his son is a kind of uh, executive in Nashville, you know. Yeah. That's not that's not so surprising, is it? God almighty, that's really weird. Holy cow, they don't sound like <laughs> they used to sound. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like an orchestra in my head. <laughs> At my door the leaves are falling. Oh. At my door the leaves are falling a cold wild wind will come I know you're out there somewhere and I still miss I go out on a party And I look for a little fun But I find the darkened corner Cause I still miss I'm starting to think about all the people I miss. I don't want to do that. I don't want to get myself in that. Um... Hey, wait. The show starts in five seconds. Five, 
four, three, two, one. Whack! Ooh, ooh, ah, ee, ah, ooh. Do you want to do that or not? Because you keep letting it go by. That's oh, supposed you. to be the family therapy at the beginning of the show. You're the one who's supposed to count down. Do you want it or not? <laughs> oh, I didn't have my hat on. It's going to happen to me now. We changed your strings, Dad. Everything's up in the air now. Okay, should we start riding? Yeah, let's take a ride. No, I should say something about uh, the game. Okay. First. Okay. Uh, because we got to start playing. We're all in the limo now. Yeah. Uh, Jimmy Joe's at the wheel. And, um, well, it, the game is called What's the Problem? What's the Problem? So there's a problem. The president of, I don't know, he's president, prime minister, whatever, Zelensky or whatever his name is, mm-hmm. he ran on a ticket of ending the war with Russia. Yeah. How did he do on that? Not so good. He didn't do so hard on that, did he? What's that got to do with the game? Well, what's the problem? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> no, it does. You'll see. You'll see. Um, well, what we know, we got to start from what we know. The impetus of our motivation is to evolve. Yeah. Our DNA. It's important to know that because when we just thought it was evolve our own brain, that no. wouldn't tell you. No. Because when you start talking about these guys, Zelensky and, and Putin, mm-hmm. it's about DNA. It's about their family. Mm-hmm. They've both got an idea of how to evolve their family the best. Yeah. Right? Yeah. This will be continued after the ride. <laughs> no, we're going out to the cornfield with all the old uh, guys working the other side now come out and request their songs mm-hmm. only molly can see them and she tells us and she tells us all about it it's a corn field and they got a still in there and uh, you know george doesn't always show up but uh, mostly he does right that's right we're writing a song it's called when oh should i tell him in case somebody steals it yeah don't tell anyone the hell it's, secret. it's called it's mine now this is published <laughs> when i say this when george went straight <laughs> is that a winner or what <laughs> uh, for the people that don't know I'll explain in the song yeah. you know that we're talking about Jones and straight yeah, yeah. <laughs> doing my best buddy yeah yep. now listen take a ride dad yeah I'm gonna take a ride Gonna take a ride. Gonna take a ride. Up as a honky tonk. As a honky tonk. That's the county line. That's the county line. Through the upper waves of green. Through those waves of green. And past the dairy cow. With their big brown eyes. Through the, uh, corn the cornfield of dreams. Cornfield of dreams. Who's coming out tonight, Ma? We call them out, Dad. It's Johnny Cash, but it's also Hank Snow. They're both coming out, Dad. Johnny Cash. You're not supposed to sing the first song, make a Johnny Cash song, and then have the cornfield of Johnny Cash song. We do that sometimes, and it calls them out. It summons them. Oh, I see. It's a summoning. Oh, I see. Jeez. Spooky. Spooky. (laughs) So this is... Todd the Wheaton Willow. Right here. Well, I taught that weeping willow how to cry, cry, cry. Showed that cloud how to cover of a clear blue sky. Oh, man, you know the tears I cry for that woman. They're gonna flood you, big river. And I'm gonna sit right here until I die. I'm gonna sit right here until I die. But I met her accidentally in St. Paul, Minnesota. Tore me up every time I heard that drawl, I heard the southern drawl. But you took my dream back downstream, cavorting in the Davenport. And then I followed you, Big River, when you called. Followed you, Big River, when you called. 
Hey, don't you batten down my Baton Rouge River Queen rolling on Take that woman on down, down to New Orleans, down to New Orleans Oh, go on, I've had enough Dump my blues way down in the Gulf I said that she loves you, Big River, more than me She loves you, Big River, more than me I said that she loves you, Big River, more than me. Oh, I thought that weeping willow hard to cry, cry, cry. Showed that cloud how to cover of a clear blue sky. Oh, man, you know the tears I cry, but that woman, they're gonna flood you, Big River. And I'm gonna sit right here until I die. Can you get us down to Memphis? I'm gonna sit right here until I die. Okay, what's the other one? Oh, it's Big Eight Wheeler. Okay, here we go. It is a Big Eight Wheeler moving down the track. It means your true loving daddy coming back, and I'm moving on. I'm moving on. Yeah, I'm a rolling on. I'm I keep a shovel in the coal, I keep a rat in the road, and I keep moving on. Hey, hey, switch your engine, now I ain't got time, but no traveling woman on my main line. Keep moving on, moving on. Oh, it won't be long. No, it won't be long. You had the life on me, and I'll set you free, and I'm moving on. Let's get moving on here, Mom. All right, then. Do -do. Well, Mr. Fireman, won't you please listen to me? I said I got a pretty mama down in Tennessee. Keep her moving me on. Keep moving on. I keep her rolling on. Keep rolling on. I keep her shoveling the corn. Keep her riding the road and keep moving on. I said, now someday, baby, when you've had to play, you're gonna want your daddy. Daddy will say, keep on moving on. You say the way too long. Way, way too long. You hit the life on me, and I set you free, and I'm moving on. You're gonna ease my mind, put me there on time, and keep rolling on. Uh, boop, boop, boop. Oh, this guitar looks like another person with me. <laughs> another different person. I need my big flat uh, dead top big string, dead but it's like <laughs> ringing. Everything's yeah, ringing. <laughs> Yeah, You'll get used to it. All right. <sighs> so, here's the thing. We know it's all about evolution, which is carried out via survival and procreation. Right? Yes. That's the first part you got to know for this game because that's where it's all starting from. Now, there's three doors that maintains... That. Mm -hmm. That's what we need to go to next. Mm -hmm. We know generally what's going on now, right? Yeah. What Putin and Zelensky are doing. Yeah. They're basically, you can look at it all as family. Yeah. They think of themselves as daddies mm -hmm. in this family. Mm -hmm. And they're trying to do the best. Like Putin was getting surrounded by NATO. Yeah. They lost 50 million people in the war. Mm -hmm. They didn't lose a half a million like Britain yeah. or 175,000 like the States. Yeah. They lost like uh, th at least 30 million. Yeah. They say 30, but I think they lie low. Yeah. You know, because it doesn't look good. <laughs> <laughs> and they essentially, you know, they won. They, they didn't really have to do the atomic bomb at all because uh, Japan said, oh, Jesus, Russia's coming. We're out of here. Yeah. We're done. Mm. You got to watch Oliver Stone. He'll tell you all about it. Yeah. Yep. Stressful. 
stressful stuff. Yeah, so you got to know some things. But all I'm saying is those three doors. Mm-hmm. One is purpose, meaning, growth, and development, and everything like that. Like, yeah. they're big doors. There's a lot of things in there. In mm-hmm. the game, like, I'll give somewhat of a list, but everybody will be able to figure out their own yeah. things that are around purpose and meaning, growth and, growth and development, right? Yeah. And door number two, order, security, fair play, that whole thing. And that gets more, you know, into it <laughs> there. Yeah. Did you just make that little noise? <laughs> no, I think that was um, that was this guy. Oh, yeah. Well, he does that sometimes. <laughs> Sneaks it out. Now, uh, and door number three, of course, is connection. Yeah. To everything, nature, to all things natural, connection to all things natural. Mm-hmm. So we're going to have to go in those doors. You better be thinking about it. Okay. Because there's somewhere in those doors is, you know, what's going on here? What's going on? Okay. Now we got we got the girly stoves are getting hot, right? Yeah, so get back in the room and get on that old country road, that old county line road. Because we've been doing that heavy thinking there. And all the girlies toe. All the girlies toe. Hanging out of the window. Hanging out of the window. Well, once he's a great big tower. Ooh, 50, station 50,000 watts. Station GHRT. Station GHRT. Is there for you and me? Is there for you and me? Brought to you by Alice's Restaurant and General Store. Oh, down at Alice's Restaurant. Down at Alice's Restaurant. Except Dallas. Now we're going to pull up in front of the station, go in there and go to the front desk. See Betty Page there in her cigarette girl uniform. I'm going to give you your special tea with a ayahuasca in it and send you downstairs here to the psychedelic Perry Home Companion. The really big old time radio medicine show, Three Chords and the Truth. Starring Molly Griffin and her old dog, Duke. Reverend Dr. Joe G2 coming to you live from station GHRT in the virtual haystack in your mind, where the show always starts in five minutes. If we don't spin the tunes on the turntable, we spin them on our souls. So kick back, chill out, and relax to the mellow sounds of the singing DJs. DJs, DJs. Oh, we spin them on our soul. Sometimes we spin them on our soul. Got a good song? What song you got now? Now we got In Color Dead. Oh. In Color Dead. Oh, God. Oh. That's hard doing all that heavy talking, you know? It's hard doing that heavy talking? Yeah, you just want to sing. Singing. Yeah. I just want to let go. Uh, You're a heavy dude, Dad. No, you know what I am, Ma? What are you, Dad? I'm a honky-tonk man. Yeah, can't seem to stop. I love to give the girl the world to the music I've been old you by. But when my money's all gone, I'm on the telephone. Oh, yeah, Mama, can your daddy come home? We'll do it next time and get the right key. Yeah. Are you going to pick up the book and look at the photograph? <laughs> oh, no, you can't, eh? Because you need the music or something? You want me to do it all? You could pretend to look at my phone. Yeah, I want you to do it all, Dad. Okay, we're just learning this. We're going to make a trailer out of it, so if we blow it... You'll know it. You'll have been there. I might slow it down. Hey, Grandpa, what's that picture here? It's all black and white. It ain't real clear. Is that you there? Yep, I was 11. Times were tough back in 35. That's me and your Uncle Joe. Just trying to survive a cotton farm. In a great depression And if it looked like we were 
you're scared to death Just a couple of kids just trying to save each other Should have seen it in color On this one here was taken overseas in the middle of hell, 1943. In the wintertime, you can almost see my breath. And there's my old tail gunner, Johnny McGee. He was a high school teacher down in New Orleans and he had my back right through the day we left. And it looked like we were scared to death Just a couple of kids just trying to save each other Should have seen it in color All this one here is my favorite one It's me and your grandma in the summer sun all dressed up the day we said our vows and you can't tell it here but it was hot that june and the roses were red and her eyes were blue and just look at that smile oh, i was so proud and if it looked like we were scared to death just to Couple of kids just trying to save each other. You should have seen it in color. That's the story of my life. All dressed up in black and white Oh, Nippy, looked like we were scared to death Just a couple of kids just trying to save each other Should have seen it in color Hey, if it looked like we were scared to death Just a couple of kids just trying to save each other You should have seen it in color Should have seen it in color Well, we can work on the end. <laughs> as long as we work on the ending in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> and, of course, the beginning. <laughs> it'll, it'll be, it's going to be first class when it's done, Ma. <laughs> it's a very emotional song. I, yeah, it is. I made it through good better today, though. Yeah, the other it's because you were freaked out by your strings. No, I think it's because <laughs> I had to take a, the drugs. You had to take the drugs. Yeah. Oh, God, it's the worst. I know, it's been like six months. Yeah. Why'd you do that for? I don't know. Why'd you do I that didn't for? do I did, uh, you know, it was like 7 o'clock in the morning. Oh, my God. Jesus H. Oh, my God. Jesus Why didn't you H. tell me that at the beginning? I don't want nobody to know. Because <laughs> I'm very, you know, I'm ashamed. <laughs> I'm ashamed. Okay, anyways. So, let's have a look at door number one with Zelensky and Putin. Uh -huh. That is their purpose and meaning. He's, you yeah. know, they might got, have other things. Putin is for sure. Zelensky is kind of a TV producer. Mm -hmm. He acts like it, too. He's like a TV man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not all true. Uh, you know, it's coming from over there. Mm -hmm. They're the, you know, before this whole thing started, they're the two most corrupt Slavic nations. Yeah. And, you know. There's some others that are questionable. Yeah. That's why the Germans won't let them in the <laughs> in the German Reich. You know what's it called? The EU. Oh, the EU. <laughs> that, that's why England got out of it. Yeah. It was going to be a scrap. Yeah. Oh yeah, they knew it was coming because when the two Germans start going at it, well, what do you get, Ma? World War Two. And, and one. one. <laughs>
Yeah, because England does so well because they got all the kilts. They bring the Scottish and Irish in to do the fighting for them. Yeah. <laughs> it's a hell of a deal. A hell of a deal. And when they got over to North America, all George Washington wanted the next war was the Scottish and Irish yeah. from down in Virginia. Yeah. And But before they got another war, he had to go down with his army and beat them up because it, they wouldn't listen to him. <laughs> <laughs> poor old george poor old george why he went straight <laughs> yeah okay well let's just sing where i come from and then we can get uh get out of here that's back when men were men and women liked it Not all funny. <laughs> That's why it's so funny to me. <laughs> I miss John Wayne, Mom. Yeah. Yeah. You miss Marion? I miss the. I miss Mary. The guys that own the media and all Hollywood and all that kind of thing have made us a different society. We don't allude to doing, uh, you know, what's it called? Uh, Honorable. Do, no, I do for you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Do unto others. They don't good do that. Yeah. What they sell is, if you get taken, you deserve it. Yeah. <laughs> and that bothers me, Mom. We need John Wayne back. <laughs> I'm the only John Wayne left in this town. Yeah. You know that song? No. That's where he rides the horse down to the, in New York. Oh. You don't know that? <laughs> You're in, you don't know nothing. <laughs> Everybody out there knows it. I'm the only John Wayne in this town left in this town. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's a talking song. Two guys doing it. And it's Two guys doing it. <laughs> it's the most famous song. Ride a horse. Oh, no, ride a yeah, cowboy. Yeah. I don't know. Save the, a horse. I don't know all the lyrics to that song. I never said all the lyrics. I'm just <laughs> talking generally here. All right, never mind. Let's, if it's not Save have you got a another horse, song? ride a cowboy, I don't know. Okay, so we saw in door number one yeah. that their purpose and meaning is right there and so when people get purpose and meaning and then they get some power you know you think putin was gonna let there and let this little jerk off that was like a comedy writer uh, come in and bring in uh, the states with their nukes and mm -hmm. shit and they no he couldn't do that yeah. and they won't listen to him he said that's what they're saying to you mm -hmm. it's the only way we could tell you that's illegal they don't mind if ukraine goes in the european union that is not a problem yeah it's the guns. Yeah. Oh, what a tangled web we weave, Dad. All right. <laughs> Are we getting the game played, though? That's the important thing. Uh, we, and we haven't been to door number two. Problem? We're going to door number two next. Well, we got two we minutes. Oh, brother. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, it's all about order and security because the secure Putin... Doesn't want nukes in his next door. He doesn't want that trip there. It was like Kennedy with the nukes in uh, right, right, Cuba. Right, right. That's what he's trying to say. I won't take that. Right. I won't do it. Right. And he's made his drawn his line in the sand. Mm. And too bad for the Ukrainian people because it was. <laughs> yeah. We're there. Yeah. But if I was them, I would go. How did the guy you picked do on his um, promise? Yeah, what he what you voted him in for? Yeah. He needed to be slick with Putin. Come on, we can get along. We want to make money. We all want to make money. McDonald's would still be in Russia. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what they did? They took over all the McDonald's and they got the McDonald's burgers puking out. You yeah. know, and it's called the uh, <laughs> McRussian Dome. <laughs> <laughs> what <or> something? <laughs> McRussian, <laughs> McRussian burgers. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's good right there. McRussian burgers. Okay. Uh, and uh, door number Coffee. three, door number three, um, connection to nature, to everything natural. Yeah. Well, how's that pity? Well, they're, you know, instinct. <laughs> it's their instinct to blow each this other. This is what out. the game is. You sit around and you got to all figure this out. Yeah. And by the time you're done, oh my God, you've just got $100,000 worth of therapy, only you can't even buy this kind of therapy. Not a psychiatrist, anyways. Yeah. You could come up here where the people are using shrooms and stuff. Yeah. And you can get some pretty good stuff. Yeah. But this is just a board game. It's you can sit down and have a toke and figure it out. 
you're never going to figure it all out because you got to keep evolving. <laughs> evolving means you completely get into chaos all the time because every time you take a risk, you get into chaos. You figure out the puzzles, games, and stories. It smooths out. You evolve to a higher level. Correct, Mundo? Yeah. That's the game. Let's go. Well, where I come from, it's cornbread and chicken. <laughs> Do you remember the words to this? No. It's your job. <laughs> How does it start? Well, I was rolling weeds. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I was rolling weeds and I was shifting keys way right around that Jersey turnpike. When Bonnie stopped me with his gun ten minutes after midnight. Said, so you broke the limit here in that rusty old truck. He said, I don't know about that accent, boy. Just where did you come from? Hey, where I come from? Cornbread and chicken, where I come from? From porch picking, where I come from? Trying to make a living and working on to get to heaven, where I come from? I pull it, pull it in the country kitchen there, Mom. <laughs> oh, well, I was chasing sun down the 101, just around somewhere around Ventura. I lost my universal joint, oh man, I had to use my finger. And this tall lady, she walked up to me and said, you got plans for dinner? I said, no thanks, ma'am. Back home, we like the girls that sing soprano. Where's John Wayne? Hey, where I come from? Home bread and chicken, where I come from? From Ford picking, where I come from? Trying to make a living and a working on to get to heaven, where I come from? Yeah, I was heading home down to 65 somewhere around Kentucky. And a bobtail rig, yeah, yeah, he was uh, rolling on like thunder. He called him, and I, I answered him, and he asked me, he said, Ain't you from down in Tulsa? I said, No, but you might have seen me there, because I just dropped a load of soda. <laughs> I said, where I come from, cornbread and chicken, where I come from, from porch picking, where I come from, trying to make a living and a working hard to get to heaven, where I come from, where I come from, where I come from, where I come from. I come from. Uh, three is enough. What the hell? Yeah. It's a better number than four. It's hard. It, it makes it so hard to remember lyrics when um, there's four verses. Yeah. I think your mind can wrap around three, but four just knocks it all off four. Uh, the, the lady asked me, he goes in there because it's... Sign uh, says finger licking. Sign says finger licking. Yeah. And when he's finished, he says... Uh, how'd you like your biscuit? The lady asked me, how'd I like my biscuit? Yeah. I said, I gotta be honest with you, man. It weren't like Mama fixed it. <laughs> okay, I'm telling you right now, I'm the only John Wayne list left in this town, so you better watch this damn show. We get things straightened out. Hey! Me and the pig. You like that pig? We're really all about health. We're mostly t about health, aren't we? Well, this is health. We're talking about health, aren't we? We got a little health problem over there, and... Uh, over there on the steps. Is that what it's called? The Russian steps? Yeah. Okay. Now listen. Because, see? Your knife will, your life will, <laughs> your, your will never be the lame. <laughs> your life will never be the same because you've got all the way to the end of three chords and the truth. And we're all about health. 
because when you got your health, you got just about everything. So if you hillbillies and pea pickers, come on, you all come back now. Yeah? Not down in London, France, and Chad and China, and Belarus, and good crack down in Ireland. We'll see you later, eh?